Okay, so what we've done is I inputted the values in for uh, the nozzle calibration and what you'll see is when you open up uh, the preferences on Rep G when you're connected to the bot it has changed your X tool, tool offset so this is assuming that this was zero at the start so what I did was I went back in after I had reset the motherboard here and then I came back in here and I reset these to zero yours should have already been zero uh, but I reset mine to zero committed the changes restarted my bot and verified these with zero and then I ran the nozzle calibration script I entered you saw me enter 10 and 6 I had 10 for the Y 6 for the X and I opened up and then I restarted the bot came here and this is my offset so my X tool head offset um, you know I'm not sure what that means whether it's 34 and change I think it is actually it's 34.096 instead of 33.0 whatever but anyway, so there we go. And we should be good for a dual true. I should be just set up for a dual printing, dual head printing. So let's uh, let me see if I've got. Let's do something with MakerWare real quick. Stuff to print. Bed leveling. This is uh, Dr. Thomas on uh, Wing Commander on the Google groups. He's got a bed leveling script. Let's do that to see how level our bed is. So you can pull this off his uh, Thingiverse page, but I'm just going to go ahead and make this, and uh, I might as well take you through Prof Tweak real quick. So let's get this set up for PLA, and then you'll see how this is done. So this thing should print pretty well. So we're going to go to Make, um, and we're just going to go to Create Profile. We're going to use oh, PLA Standard. We're going to call it my first try. And we're going to edit. And what you're going to see is the extruder temperature. We need to get that down. My extruder zero is the right, which is the default. I need that at 190. Yeah, I want to just do them both at 195. They're two different PLAs, but they should work. I'm going to turn the raft or the support or the raft off. False. Now I'm going to go linear on the infill. Now this is uh, 1.075. Uh, you got to measure the diameter of your filament with, the, with calipers. This is 76. I want to change the speed a little bit. Take that down to 80. That's the traveling when it's not extruding. This is the first layer. I don't mind that at 50. Uh, let's just go 60 for the rest. Now we can go 50 here. Uh, save it. Now this takes you into more detailed settings. And one of the things that I like to do is... Well, one thing you need to do is your feedstock multiplier for PLA should be... For ABS, it should be 85, at least to start out. For PLA, it should be 97. So we do 97 for both. Um, I like to set my minimum layer duration for small objects 30. I do toggle that from time to time. I'll save that. I like to change the solid fill orientation offset to zero. And that actually makes your infill vertical up and down as you're watching it. And I don't think there's any. Oh, the platform temperature. I always forget that. Platform temp, where are you? There we go. Well, they put it at zero. We'll go 50 for PLA. Save. And I think that's good. I don't think I forgot anything. So, let's go ahead and make this. Just going to slice it. Oh, I think I'm, I think I'm printing through USB, which I don't want to be doing. All right, I just canceled. I don't want to be printing off USB. I want to make it. Export the file. I forgot to do that.
Let's make this smaller. BL for bed leveling. I'm going to slice it. And then I'm going to move that into my file. It's not recognizing my. There we go. All right, and now that should print. So let's let's get to it here. All right, this thing's going to try to print a circle, and one of my first ones was real windowy. You could see it wasn't uh, very well done. So you want this pretty tight. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it better than this. So this is just a mess. All right, this is printing the leveling script, which you can see. I'm just going to stop it because I know it's working. Now you can see that it's pretty window free. Nothing like that that green one. So it's, I mean it's just perfect. So really smooth, right temperature, right nozzle height, and uh, it worked really well. See if I can't take it off real quick. Yeah. Uh. Yep, yeah, there you go. You can see. I can even try to pull it apart, maybe. I won't even pull apart. There it goes. So you can see, you need to be able to get that done to have a really level bed. So now we're going to go on to making a dual trusion real quick. Here we go. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a dual trusion now. And I've got a cone that I separated into four pieces. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I can open up all these at the same time. Let's not even try it. Let's just open that. Uh, let's keep it there. Open up two. Keep there. Turn it into green. Three. Keep there. Four. <clears throat> Keep there. Turn that one green. Okay. Now the one thing I would suggest is when you go to make this and export, we're going to edit the profile. I need to turn the purge wall on. You'll see what a purge wall is. Do purge wall. True. Save. And export. And I will call it uh, cone. Replace. Put the SD card in. Put it over there and then we will print this thing. Move it over. Replace. And let's print it. So here's our dual print. And let's take a look at this. Oh. this is, these are the uh, purged walls, which I think you know what are now to break those off. This thing's not wanting to come off. Whew. Hang on a second. And there we go. We had a cylinder, dual trusion, and I tell you what, that thing is on the money. So that sailfish version that Dan did with the sailfish team and the calibration was perfect. The 10 on the Y and the 6, and you can see my zipper there a little bit. And you can randomize that on Rep G. You can't randomize that on uh, Makerware, but we won't get into that. But this thing is beautiful. The cap is beautiful smooth beautiful so there's dual trusion and the bot should be pretty much ready to go now so you are ready to go so now uh, let's get into just uh, well next video I'll get into other stuff